Welcome back to Roughing It. Beaufort, quite possibly the prettiest town in all the Carolinas. It's a place shaped by its own past, its natural landscape as a sea island, and the people who live there today. Here we are in Beaufort. What an amazing town. It's a privilege to explore and experience Beaufort and all it has to offer. Each street tells a different story. Among other activities, the Spanish Moss Trail is for all skill levels and worth the visit. We're on the Spanish Moss Trail of Port Royal or Beaufort or whatever you want to call it. The 18-mile trail slices right up the Port Royal Island in Beaufort County. So after the tick episode, pretty much washed everything we own, every scrap of clothing, whether it was dirty or not, anything, any bedding, whether it was dirty or not, all the pillowcases and everything. We washed everything. I washed the tarp. I washed the plastic tarp, threw it in the washing machine, cleaned out the car, vacuumed, windexed everything. Camping in marshland has its dirty side. Skyler is clean, clean, clean. And tick-free and retreated, much to her joy. And exhaustion. Beaufort, it's extremely dog-friendly. There are, there, dogs are welcome almost, you know, everywhere you go. Of course, not in restaurants. Skyler was allowed to roam as she pleased and welcomed everywhere she went. Everybody here is so friendly, so nice. Congenial. It's it's basic. It's what you think of when you think of Southern hospitality. That's what the people are like here. Other things to do. Beaufort has no shortage of historical carriage tours. You can also do the history walk if you're on a budget. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Let's go get food. With such a maritime influence, there's an abundance of seafood cuisine. But unfortunately, we didn't have any because we were on a budget. Tip number one, food. You can eat inexpensive and healthy food on the road if you make the right choices. Having a little lunch, um, because of the heat, pretty much anything that, uh, I've given up on ice because it melts like that. So I've pretty much stuck to canned foods, dried foods, and if I buy any produce, I have to eat it that day. Buford has some very nice hotels. Unfortunately, we didn't stay in any because we were on a budget. So what do you do if there's no Walmart or public lands or trucker stops or paid camping? Tip number two, stealth parking. Wow, that's fancy. Well, I'd rather be outside. Oh, well, we just woke up. If you must, here are some tips. Don't sleep in the same place two times in a row. Don't do anything to draw attention to yourself and leave no trace behind. And if you're on a budget, Tip number three, where to shower. I just had a shower at the Beaufort Marina for one dollar. The Beaufort Marina offers a few amenities to the public such as laundry facilities, Wi-Fi, and showers, and they made no objections to Skylar. If you're not on a budget, there's shopping galore in the downtown district. Really love it here. Can't wait to explore more. In a quarter mile, continue onto Broad Street. This place is a fishing and boating paradise. I hope we're not trespassing. It's, it's a little rickety. I would not want to fall in there, that's for sure. Um, oh, wow. I think that was a Seahawk. Oh. Time to bird ID. Things I've noticed is that the tides here are no joke. I mean, entire shores have disappeared. It's got like an eight foot tide break. Whoa, this was all water a couple of hours ago. Port Royal has the second largest natural harbor on the Atlantic coast. If you decide to do anything in, on, or near the water, keep in mind the strong currents and swift tides. So I was supposed to leave Beaufort yesterday, but I just couldn't seem to go. There was still more to see and do. The second oldest city in the state, Beaufort has no lack of antebellum architecture. 
The place wears its history and culture on the facade of its houses. The homes, being the primary expression of identity, speaks to an essence of warmth and wealth. A couple of things I've uh, learned since I've been here is that Beaufort uh, has a rich and varied history. First of all, it was essentially established as Santa Elena by the Spanish in the 1500s, the French in Port Royal by uh, Captain Ribot, and the British, and then the, there was the Revolution, and then of course the Civil War broke up all the plantations up. Crops included rice and indigo, and then became Sea Island cotton, which was a special kind of a cotton, and that is really what created the wealth that and the, you know, thousands of slaves that worked the cotton fields. Ironically, because of its early capture by Union forces, it went from a slave mecca to a runaway slave mecca during the war. Make a stop by the Santa Elena History Center to hear about the twists and turns of Beaufort's past. Beyond that, you can also witness the progress of many of the archaeological projects Beaufort has. I've been reading a lot about the Civil War, the War of Northern Aggression, which, by the way, happened a long time ago. I mean, it was a, it was a horrible, horrible war for both sides. The casualties, the, the gore, the blood, it was unfathomable. And I've been watching um, some documentaries, been going to various places and talking to various people in the South. If you really talk to some of the Southerners, they're still bitter about the Civil War, talking about being occupied during the Civil War, how horrible it was, they took all the slaves, they broke up the plantations, they gave each slave 20 acres and a mule, and she's talking about this like it was a, tra like it was a tragedy. <laughs> it's a strange attitude to have. What do you say to that? I mean, I just, I was silent. Not everybody thinks this way. Not all the Southerners are like that. Like this Southerner. Skylar liked what she smelled and was keen to make friends, but he slipped away all too quickly. You can smell it. Went into that pond. Tracked it down. Yeah, it's gone, Skylar. It went back into the water. Gotta let it go. She gave one last sniff remembered what was more important in life, and moved on. Coming across turtles is fine, but I don't want to come across any amphibious reptiles with teeth. The South has produced its fair share of great writers. Growing up, I read a lot of Pat Conroy books, you know, stuff like Prince of Tides and Great Santini, and all of his um, descriptions, mostly South Carolina, but the islands, these, this island um, kind of culture, it always fascinated me. And I'm not the only one. Many Hollywood films have shot here, including Forrest Gump, The Big Chill, and The Prince of Tides, based on the Conroy novel. And true to the Conroy books, there's also a strong military presence. The Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, graduates 20,000 recruits per year. It's probably because I grew up in San Diego, but whenever I hear fighter jets, it makes me feel like I'm home. When you learn the history, it's easy to see why so many people fought and died over Beaufort. Strangely, while many have taken ownership of Beaufort, Port Royal, the Sea Islands, they seem to transcend the occupier. Perhaps shaped more by the tides than the tyrants, Beaufort has emerged as a polished gem. You would never know it ever had one troubled day. I finally accepted leaving after delaying for yet another day. Join us next time in the city named after that dance that your grandparents danced to.